And meanwhile, popular sci-fi show Helix is returning with a brand new season, and two of the stars got a chance to share some behind-the-scenes secrets. They had a lot to say about the increased action, adventure, and thrills in store for viewers. A new virus, a small island, and a strange cult with a mysterious purpose. In the second season of Helix, a show centered on a group of doctors from the Centers for Disease Control, these are the ingredients for disaster. From last year's location in the Arctic, actors Kira Zagorski and Steven Weber were excited about shooting this season in a warmer climate that added to the storytelling. Because you can go outside, because you're not in the Arctic where the weather is going to kill you, um, there are still dangers on the island, so being outside is still a dangerous place, but it opened up the world so much more. Also, the colors and the tones and just everything about it is, is different than the first season. So it's almost like a whole new show. Yep. Zagorski's character, Dr. Julia Walker, one of the primary CDC researchers, makes a new discovery about herself and gets entrenched with the questionable corporation Ilaria, who wants to use the virus to control the world. Well, in the second season, Julia has now discovered that she's immortal and she's been captured by Ilaria, but she's also a survivor, still like last season, and she's going to do whatever it takes to get through this new world that she's a part of and, and what that means to her and, and how that changes her. Alongside the new changes in the second season, the character of Brother Michael, played by Steven Weber, will be freshly introduced to viewers. I was not uh, in the first season, um, so in many ways I am one of the key new developments in the second season. And uh, I play a leader of a cult um, that's generations old, and um, it's a kind of a naturalist cult uh, on, the, on the surface. There's nothing wrong with it particularly. But a new virus, that Kira was alluding to, is uh, kind of taking hold of the island and of a lot of the members of the fellowship. And so uh, the CDC has been called in to kind of quell it. We have 27 people dead on that boat. When did the passengers start getting sick? Right after we got back from the island. Weber enjoyed getting into character for Brother Michael and portraying someone who is not at all what he seems. The thing is that the, the cult leader's appeal is just that he's sincere and that he's gentle and that he's, he's able to connect with people you know, on a very visceral, direct level. And so that's all I did. It's not like I had to prepare to become a manipulative uh, <laughs> you know, authority freak. Science fiction is quite possibly the most difficult of all genres to turn into a success. It is also the most fragile. Both Weber and Sigorsky were in agreement about how Helix will continue to be a roller coaster ride for audiences. The stakes are much higher than the first season, and the first season they were high to begin with. Um, the, the writers, the creators set out to uh, uh, make even more. Uh, thrills and intensity than the first season, wouldn't you say? Without giving too much away, there are time elements that come into play. Um, and uh, we see kind of origin stories. And we, we, so, so there's a, you, you really have to, you have to stay focused on the show because you might get lost. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot for everybody. Sci-Fi Channel's Helix dares to stand out in a landscape already filled to capacity with genre-based behemoths like Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. Where those series tackle issues on a massive scale, Helix smartly stays small by giving its ensemble cast a tiny stage to showcase all the new twists and turns in 2015. Sanyi Yuan, CCTV News, Hollywood.